this is our homeland. This is this is where we where we were put by the Creator. We weren't put in Europe. We weren't put nowhere else. We were put here. Well, you know, the pine tree is uh, is is part of who we are. It's our symbol. Our ancestors planted them. So many generations have enjoyed either picnics. Um, Picking berries, picking medicines uh, in the pines. They're, they're a place that has meant peace for us. In uh, late 1988 into 18, 1989, uh, you know, the word was leaked out. Uh, there was secret uh, work being done and plans being made in the village of Oka with the golf course and other developers to expand the golf course. Everybody in the community started discussing, you know, they want to cut the pines. And it's really like precious to everybody. If this all goes, and we will go with it. Uh, part of the plans included uh, the, uh, uh, the exhumation of our dead in our cemetery. Not a cemetery over here is over 300 years old easily. Uh, we've been burying our people there for a long time. People don't even remember when they started. That's how old it is. We never blocked a major artery uh, for, for the public. We blocked something that it was rightful, is rightfully ours to block, uh, to prevent appropriation and exploitation of our land. I was 18 years old. I just turned 18 in May of that year. The tension and the excitement and the adrenaline were just pumping. We took times out, out of our lives to be here to, to make sure nobody cut the pines. And the issue is about land. It's about disposition. It's about racism I and mean, these doctrines of which Canada and Quebec claim their sovereignty on. We just finished boiling the water, got the coffee ready, put the coffee cup to my lips, and I heard the radio crackle. They're here. We were burning tobacco. John was burning tobacco liquidated every morning. As we were burning tobacco, he shot a, he shot a, like a smoke grenade at us, and, and it kind of like bounced and hit me in the leg. And so then uh, we looked out and we seen them, they're all lined up there at the road yelling at us, aiming their guns at us, asking us to talk to our leader. We try to uh, try to talk to them, tell them, well, look, you know, it's a peaceful one, you know, we don't, uh, if you want to take the barricade down, take it down, you know. We figure we'll put it back up later. After three hours of negotiations, uh, they opened fire on us. Well, the bullet went in here. It went like uh, from the road, came in here, then it, it resurfaced here. It came out here. They called them tumbler bullets. The bullets spin, so when it hits you, it goes through your body. You can just hear the bullets going through the trees. Like that kind of a noise. Today, I can still make the sound of the bullets going by my head. Just going zoop, zoop. One of my cousins, uh, maybe he calls sticking his head up to look at what the positions of the cops and literally ha having a shot uh, hit the tree beside his head and all the bark exploding into his face. But well, we always believe that the Creator watches over us. He takes care of us. He protects us. In 90, he did. Finally, after, after the, the gunfight, you know, they went running down the hill. They left the keys in the cars of their vehicles. What happened at that point, I mean, uh, we decided we have to block this road for our own defense. I jumped in the loader that they abandoned I, and crushed all the cop cars that they abandoned and that's what we made our barricades out of. I always said it's like the, the buffalo when they tried to drive them over the cliff. Some jumped but some didn't. They turned around and came back. Uh, phone calls were made to Kahnawaga to have them uh, in the solidarity uh, but, uh, to do something in solidarity with the people here defending the pines. The Warrior Society mobilized at that time just to be ready, and then once the gunfire happened, it was just, uh, we had to uh, react. Uh, it was only after the shootout that they were given the word, block that bridge. So we went and we took the bridge and stopped the traffic, and that was to put pressure, to have the outside people put pressure on their government to pull the SQ out of there. I felt a little safer, that now, okay, now we have a, we have a, a bigger token in the game. This is a really, uh, a selfless thing to do, putting yourself in harm's way for your sister community in Ganesadage. And, and so I, I thought, this is, this is just amazing. I'm, I'm, I was so grateful. I still am. 
somebody had came to me and said, uh, I think they shot one of their cops. And I says, no, oh, can't be. He said, yeah. I said, That's when I, I, I sat there for a while trying to think, you know. I felt proud. I felt proud that we took a stand. Uh, trepidation and, and sadness for what happened to that police officer was unnecessary. But it, it, it happened, and we can't, we can't get away from it. it. It happened. We had been fighting over this particular piece of land for almost 300 years. So it's generation after generation who have resisted. And, and so it's, it's practically in our DNA, you know, to, to, be, to, to react this way and to say, you know, we're not, we're not taking it anymore. So that's why we had a nice, long, hot summer. This is our symbol of resistance.